his works as memorials to crises. Nietzsche's most provocative attack on religion came in the parable of the madman, written late in his life, and which famously proclaimed the death of God. Have you not heard of that madman who lit a lantern in the bright morning hours, ran to the marketplace and cried incessantly, I seek God, I seek God? As many of those who do not believe in God were standing around just then, he provoked much laughter. Why? Did he get lost? said one. Did he lose his way like a child? said another. Or is he hiding? The madman jumped into their midst and pierced them with his glances. Where is God? he cried. I shall tell you. We have killed him, you and I. All of us are his murderers. <laughs> the madman is clearly offering some kind of warning that there's a tremendous cataclysm on its way. I think what's Im important for Nietzsche is that there's a number of events, let's call them intellectual events of the 19th century, which put together all work towards undermining the very foundations of Christian moral civilization. If you take uh, Darwin as an example, I mean, Darwin was brought up in a very uh, theological or religious context, and Nietzsche points out that before releasing or publishing his whole theory of natural selection, he had it for 20 years, and he kept it in a cupboard, stacked away. I think on Darwin's part, he himself realised that it would have precisely the tremendous consequences, potentially nihilistic ones, that Nietzsche was detecting in it within the theory, that it would undermine the whole basis of Western... Uh, morality and metaphysics, that it would show that the world functions and operates quite well or quite consistently without the need for any divine uh, intervention. In 1869, ten years after Darwin published The Origin of Species, 